Hey, what is going on guys, Matt here, and today I have a really quick tutorial for you guys. <coughs> it is how to install Nitro Blast on Cinema 40 R12. Um, Graphictionary um, uploaded a video on how to install Nitro Blast, but a lot of people said they couldn't get it on R12 Cinema 40. So I'm going to show you guys how you can get it on R12. <coughs> okay, so what you want to do first guys is once you've got the download here, Drag it up there. Once you've got the download, this is what you should get. Um, basically, you right click on your Cinema 4D R12 and open file location, and then go to plugins, and then you want to drag the Nitro Blast into the R12. I've already done it, so I'm just gonna cancel that. So my Nitro Blast is in the plugin. So what you want to do again is right click, open file location, will come up with this win window, plugins. And then just drag the Nitro Blast folder into the plugins folder. Okay, guys, so once you've done that, just shrink this. Open up Cinema 4D. And as you, as like normal, you guys would go to plugins and see that it's not there. It's just Greebler, Frowsy, and well, Real Flow. I don't, know what, I don't know how that got in here, but yeah. And then, but if you guys go over to Python and then plugins, it would say Nitro Blast main. I'll just click that. I've already done it so it will come up with it straight away. Yours will say something like um yours will come up with a little error notice window kind of thing. Telling you to it'll just come up with an error thing. So you just wanna go up to if it comes up with that, you wanna go to edit preferences, open preferences folder, and it'll come up with this. You just wanna open up your download, drag Nitro Blast styles into this folder here. Okay, and then it will drag in, as you can see mine's here, you just want to close that window, close that, close that, and there there you go guys, Python, make sure you go to Python, and then plugins, and then Nitro Blast main, and then you, there you go guys, you've got Nitro Blast main, Nitro Blast, sorry, um, I don't want to do it for time, two minutes, that's alright, I can quickly show you like, what it's the basic, basics of Nitro Blast, so, so merge in a, AI file. <coughs> um, the Darth designs. Um, three packs. Hang on a second. It's been a bit weird. Right, file merge. Darth designs. Okay. Uh, not sure why it's taking so long. I tell you what, guys, I'll just open up a Lightroom. Lightroom. Um, I'll go with the Christmas Lightroom. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm just going to delete all of these file. I'll just open a AI file just to see if that works. Duff designs. There we go. So I'm going to get three extrude nerves. Drag path one to the first extrude nerve, second one, third one. Delete that. Zoom in so you guys can get like a little better idea of what it looks like. So I'm going to select them all, um, depth to about 60, caps, fillet cap, fillet cap, um, set this to about 2, this to about 2, you can do it 1 but I like it a bit more, chunkier, <coughs> um, once you've done that you just want to, oh yeah, what you can do guys as well, you can go to file, Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to close my Christmas light room and I'm going to close this one and I'm going to open smoky, smoky um, crashes light room. It's probably the best light room I've actually ever used. This is material pack version 2 that he gave out, so if you guys go into smoke, just type in smoky crasher, I'm not 100% sure of what his channel is, link is. I'll probably put that in the description, but. So I'm gonna put the um 
this and um, copy that into this Lightroom. Okay. It's going to zoom in so you get a little better idea of what it looks like. And when you copy and paste it into uh, another Lightroom, you can see the depth changes. So let's put it back to about 70 again. Okay, then, guys, as you can see, when you open Smoky Crash's Lightroom, there's a bunch of amazing um, materials to choose from. I like to use the grungy one like so and when you've got that you want to select it go to cubic and seamless and then he's already got all of these render settings all set up for you okay so with um nitro blast you want to just select all your extrude nerves so python plugins nitro blast main and set this to high quality and about 20 uh, 35 pieces Okay, and press enter and then fracture. Fracture, and you can see it all turn blue. <coughs> there we go, and it will say down here once it's done, complete. And you should close that. Um, because you don't want the yellow and if you don't want the yellow and blue, which I'm guessing you won't, just come down here and delete that. Um, delete it up here as well. So let's zoom in. Making sure it's the same colors. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, you wanna come over here? You can select. What's really good with Nitro Blast is you can click on the logo. So you can see these like little crack marks, and you can select each piece. So, and you can use this to bulge it out. Um, bring it up. Move it to the left and bring it out. You can do anything you want basically with this nitro blast, the pieces. Um, yeah, so it's really it's a really cool plugin. I hope this helped you guys. I'm just gonna render that out really quickly. It'll probably take a while because my laptop's not very fast at rendering. Let's see what it looks like if I take off. Object below. Seems to be on slower. Hey guys, I'll pause this video and play it again once it's rendered out so you guys got a rough idea of what it looks like. Hey you guys, it's rendering out now. Um, there you go, guys, it's rendering out now. As you can see, there's um, a few cracked pieces here, and it just looks really nice. So, I hope this helped you guys. Um, comment, rate and subscribe if you want more <coughs> and I'll see you guys next time.